What's up, y'all? Here's your aftermath from, uh, what is that place? Over in Illinois, Bridgeport. Took me a second to remember. Yeah. Do a little uh, walk around of the old limited well, see how she did. So we'll get right into it. Yeah, she definitely took some more beating this time. Yeah. Just a little bit banged up. This side's got some more dents and scratches in it. Yeah, not too bad. Definitely took some back here. A few dings, a few scratches. Got some more back here, got a few good ones. Now, I did use this back end quite a bit. This corner took quite a bit. Held in really well though, really good. This side's got a few, yeah, there's a bent self tapper right there. You got a few scratches on this side, nothing real, nothing real crazy on this side. Got a nice spot right here where the metal's peeled up. Dang, that's completely peeled. Took a chunk out of my side. Huh. But the front's where all the action went. As you can see how bad this is pushed back. Yeah, it's pushed back quite a bit. The edge of this hood right here is supposed to be on the outside of this bar. And it's pushed back a good probably two inches. Yeah. Yeah. All thread used to be stripping down. A little pushed back. Still straight for the most part though. Wheels held in together. This spindle took a beating. As you can see, my steer stop is bent. And uh, this is this whole bracket here is actually twisted. And it's throwing my alignment out pretty bad. Oh, you can't see it. Yeah. I think this side's probably the same way too. It's probably bent. Because I know my steering wheel's off. Going straight, that's where my steering wheel's at. It's supposed to be right there. You know, but my steering is off and I'll show you why here in a second I come back to this hood you can see this side's pushed back quite a bit and it's bowed out really bad like really bad bowed out this side's not so bad it stayed fairly in but that side just completely yeah hoods all beat up so here's the corner of the hood right here where it's folded over on itself. No, the corner of it all beat up. Here's the other side where it's supposed to be a corner. The corner of the hood's right here. Yeah, it's all wrapped around. There's a hole in it. It's hard to see this thing on this camera. Yeah, it's all paint. But there's actually a hole right there. Yeah, it's all sticker. There's another hole poked in. And as you can see from the frame, yeah, that frame is no longer straight. Here's the corner of the frame right here. Here's the corner of the frame. This side's pushed in quite a bit. And of course the center always pushes in. Which, it did some weird stuff with the exhaust plate that were allowed. But it actually bent pretty well. I'm quite happy with it. And of course I think my steering beam's bent also. I know it's actually kind of rolling under a little bit it's probably twisted it really wouldn't surprise me I haven't really looked at this too hard yeah this side's twisted just a little bit but not bad but as you can see the whole beam is actually starting to uh, kink under a little bit which is throwing my steering geometry off too uh, yeah this side's probably the same yeah this side's the same too it's that beam's twisted pretty good yeah, the beam is twisted and bent back a little bit. Not too bad. Take that beam out and flip it. It'll be alright. Uh, we'll get into the good stuff. See if you can see that. Focus. Focus. Come on. Come on, you stupid camera. Oh, I hate this camera. There you go. Focus. I don't know how well you can see that, but uh, it's nosed up. 
It's nosed up hard. Let me roll this rig onto its side real quick. So you can actually get a good good view of it. Let me set the camera right here real quick. I'm gonna move this over a little bit and flip it over. That right there looks good. Yeah, it's a little heavy. It's got a little weight to it. Alright. The rare view of underneath what this thing looks like. Alright. Give you an idea how bent that frame is. That's straight, straight to about the beam. And it kicks up really hard. And I mean really hard. We got light. Yeah, hopefully you can see that. She's kinked up pretty good. Yeah. It's up into my spark plug protector pretty hard. Surprisingly, my motor's not really moving yet. It moved a little bit, but not much. And the reason why I know it moved a little bit is because it was it's rubbing this uh, belt guide pretty bad. Of course, uh, ugh. this rail is kicking up a bit, but not near as bad as this side. This side's really kicked up hard. It might, yeah. yeah, but this side's kicked up really hard. And this, uh, that flashlight. Yeah, there you go. There's your money shot. Yeah, there's the exhaust plate that we're allowed. It's bending up. It's starting to go up. I mean, it's going up hard, too, on this side. This side's really going up hard, but really not bad. Yeah, to show you how hard this uh, this frame, this side of the frame rail is going up, there's a gap. It used to start out right up against that, and now there's a pretty good gap there from the deck link. So, yeah, that corner's gone up pretty hard. Other than that, the rest of it done really well. Uh, Logan, here's how you do it. That's how I fixed the uh, the issue. We're at uh, Boonville when my belt jumped off this pulley. That's all I did. Just took a couple of bolts and just weld them at an angle where they're almost touching the uh, pulley. That holds that on there. There's your tip, Logan. But yeah. Let me roll this rig back over. Put my flashlight up. Alright, I'm going to tip this thing back on its wheels before it uh, dumps fuel or oil all over the place. Because this motor does leak oil. And I don't know why, but it always has and I don't know where it's coming from. Yeah. And that's a light mower too compared to some of them I'm running against. The cage had some weight. Yeah. Uh, it ran pretty good. I was having carburetor issues for the most part because I haven't done anything really to this other than check the fuel and check the oil and check my tire pressure before I went to Bridgeport. It, I didn't pull the hood off or anything from Grandview. And even then I didn't really do a whole lot before or after uh, Boonville. So the carburetor needs to be cleaned. I know this. Uh, on the carb, I kept having to adjust my uh, my fuel feed, so I know there's dirt in this needle. I do have problems with this every now and then. Uh, it's just common with this thing. It's because I don't run a fuel filter. Oops. Yeah, I don't run a fuel filter at all, so there's dirt in there, and this thing sits for months on end before in between derbies. So, yeah, it's just a common thing. Not a big deal. I got to pull, pull that fuel bowl off and clean it, and it's ready to go again. Not a big deal. Pretty common. That motor is, what, going on three, four years old now? And it's been ran hard, and it's still doing good. It smokes, it's starting to smoke a little bit, but not bad. I know it's probably going to need a head gasket soon. But other than that, this motor's done really well. I mean, it's... 
All right, that carbucci, that's the only thing I really had a problem with other than my steering stop here was got beat on pretty hard. So you'll see in the, the video where this wheel here was kinked up underneath like that and jammed where I had to kind of pop it a few times, pop a wheelie and hit the steering wheel a few times to get it to free back up. But other than that, that's not a big deal. That's common. Uh, I think the tie rod did fine. The tie rod's not bent. It's just the uh, the spindle gave because they are stock spindles, not braced or anything. I think that was the only real problem to have was car problems. And trying to hang on because the track was ruddy. But it did really well. There was a. Um, Uh, I believe there are 16 mowers in our class for limited welds. A lot of TIA guys and some that were are non-TIA. Um, it was a good turnout, really good turnout for this little show. A lot of hard mowers. I mean, it was a really nice set of mowers like usual all year. Every one of the TIA guys they're just getting better and better all year. Next year, they're going to come strong. I'm telling you. But that's all right. We'll be ready. Yeah, it was a good mower show. A lot of hard-hitting mowers. Uh, yeah. So it was, it was real good. There's a there's several drivers that really stepped up this year. There are going to be some serious competition next year. So, yeah. I look forward to next year. It's going to be fun. So, we're going to run this mower again next year. Uh, I'm debating on if I want to resub it for next year so it's fresh or just leave it alone and just run it. I know I do want to pull this hood off and straighten this hood back out. So, I may go ahead and just cut that front exhaust box off and resub it. Other than that, it'd be fine. It's not bad at all. Uh, the belts ran flawless. The uh, transmission's doing fine. Other than, uh, you'll notice in the videos, the last few videos I have had a problem with my shifter oh it's in the transmission actually like when I go to put in fifth gear right there's fifth gear but if you push too hard it jumps out of gear so you have to pull it back just a little bit that's just because the shift keys are getting worn yeah yeah like right there it'd be in neutral so I have to pull it back just a tad bit for it to engage fifth it's just the shift keys are getting wore out not really a big deal. Transmission still did fine, other than that. It's really, I'm not worried about it. It's just fine. But yeah. Oh, and uh, if you're wondering how I did, first place. It was a hard fought first place. You'll see in the, uh, the GoPro footage. It came down to me and this other dude who is a, I want to say he's a rookie, but at this point, he don't drive like a rookie, I'm telling you. Skyler, you did a hell of a job teaching that boy. He's took your knowledge and he's ran with it and he's, you should be proud of him. He done damn good. He's really gave me a hell of a run. Towards the end, me and him battled for like, I think five, ten minutes straight. Back and forth. And he's a good driver. He's definitely going to be one to watch next year. I'm definitely going to be on my A game next year because he's going to, him and a bunch of others are really gonna, gonna come after me. I look forward to it though, it's good. I'm glad everyone's improving. It's really good, we all have stepped it up this year. So yeah. Look forward to that. But there you have it. I got a little little trophy, a little cash, not bad. I was going up there just to uh, kamikaze and just kinda trash it. Cause I wanted to see what this front end would do. And now I know. So I know how to improve a few things. I know how to just leave it be. It really, not, nothing really needs to be improved. But there you have it. Last run of the season results in a win. And a mower that still runs and moves just fine. A little wonky on the steering, but not too bad. Good way to end the season. Very good. So, yeah. So now I can get back to working on that. Yeah. So there you have it. 
or Jeff, man. The next one. Later, y'all.